morning, good morning. Before I go on a ride this morning, guys, I just want to give you a quick rundown or a quick update on my speed play pedals. I got these pedals about seven months ago, fitted them to my new bike. I've had my bike for seven months and the pedals went on straight away. Um, prior to my speed play pedals, I was using Shimano SPD pedals, the yellow cleats, um, which were great. I think, you know, on a road bike, you need to have, you know, to go clip this. But there was a couple of little nagging things that I used to have a problem with, like pulling away at traffic lights, etc. Sometimes I find myself looking down at my pedal to flip my pedal over to so I can clip in, and I could wander out into the road two or three feet. So it was getting a little bit dangerous at times. It didn't always, it wasn't always like that. But you know, there were times where I always found my, did, I did find myself wandering into the road. So I started looking into pedals and I looked into Speedplay and all what they can offer me. Um, and me coming from a mountain bike background, I wanted that same technology that I had on a, on a mountain bike. I was able to clip in both sides and the Speedplay offered that to me on a road bike. So I was quite excited uh, to get these ordered and get them fitted. And what do they work like? They're brilliant. I absolutely love them. Really do. They're just so good you can really pull away at lights traffic lights junctions you can just literally power down immediately as soon as you put your foot onto that pedal you clipped in bang you're, and you're up the road there's a 15 percent float so your feet can your feet can float um nice and nice on the pedal depending on what you know what's comfortable for you um i don't like to use the whole obviously 15 percent i probably use five percent if i um I was recently, but I did find not uh, rid of them when I first fitted them, and after a period of time, you, uh, you know, if you're doing 20, 25 mile rides, find it. You know, I found I was all right. When I was going on longer rides, you know, 40, 50, 60 mile rides, I was finding I was getting knee pain. Um, it turned out that my uh, cleat needed adjusting. I needed to have my heel in I didn't have you know I had plenty of heel heel out but I didn't have a neat no heel in so I had to just bring my cleat in just so my heel was just touching the frame of the bike um, and that sorted out my knee pain my knee pain is um, totally gone now so yeah so that was the only problem I had I'll show you what I do to maintain them um, and what I do before every ride really uh, that way I don't have any problems clipping him. That's the cleats with a walkabout um, bung in them. Now you can either use these for the cleats, just give them a quick spray. We can use a, basically any dry loop, even if you've got the wet, or the, the liquid form. But preferably I use the check the spray form. And um, I use this grease grease gun to obviously grease the pedals so they're for the cleats or well, one of them and this is for the pedals and I'll show you how to do it okay what you have to do to um, grease your pedals unscrew simply unscrew the, the screw at the end get your grease gun the grease gun in the end there and then squeeze oh a bit of grease coming but you see the grease just wipe that off there but the grease comes out the back here uh, once all that dirty grease comes out you can just wipe it off just wipe that dirty grease off and that's it it's good to go pop the screw back in the end Give them a good wipe off because you don't want no debris sticking to this. And that's all you have to do to the pedal. And as for your cleats, you obviously remove the bung. Always keep these nice and clean. Um, if you need to do any adjustments, just simply take off the take off the cover. Always give it a little little wipe out. In here you've got the uh, adjustments for your float, heel in, heel out, 
depending on how much float you want if you want it you know no float at all or up to 15 percent probably a bit too much and i would never go zero float um yeah so simply just screw these in or screw these out They're, they are marked heel in heel out so they're quite self-explanatory and obviously over time you'll be just slightly adjusting these to stop any knee pain and to give you a more comfortable ride yes yeah, so like i said always keep your um your springs nice and clean here and uh before well, what i do before every ride i don't ride every day i just uh, only, only ride um once or twice a week what i do is just give them a quick spray job done and that's slipping in and out your pedal nicely keep them lubricated that is the trick keep them lubricated and you won't have a single problem i haven't just by keeping them lubricated for every single ride it's no problem keep so keep your pedals greased every three or four months just give them a quick top up it takes seconds you see me do it give your cleats a spray every ride or every week and uh, you'll be good to go I'll show you how easy it is to clip in. Yes, yeah, so now every time you get onto your bike, paddle straight in, straight in. See that? Clip to come out, straight in. I'm not even looking, straight in. That's all you do, push down, easy. On, straight in, off. Easy peasy. Every single time. So keep them lubricated, keep those cleats, get that dry oil on them on every ride and you won't have a problem right you legends i hope that that's helped you out a little bit with the speed play pedals just remember every three to four months give your pedals a grease but every week or every ride as i do dry lube your cleats it's the most important thing you won't have a problem then if there's anything else i can help you with uh leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed to the harvey cycling channel why not Come on, we go on loads and loads of rides here in and around Devon, on Dock, and down to the coast. Fantastic place to ride. Um, yeah, so come and join me and subscribe. Take it easy, guys, and be safe out there. Happy riding.